So a few weeks ago, we did a fusion rifle rankings video, pretty much comparing all the top fusions and linear fusion rifles and pretty much narrowing down what the best damage dealers are in the game. At the top of the list was of course, Threaded Needle, which is a void legendary linear fusion rifle that can roll with Vorpal amongst a number of other perks such as Clown Cartridge, pretty sure he can roll Rapid Hit, etc. But I had stated at that time that there was actually gonna be an even better weapon than that. And that is Reed's Regret. Unfortunately, Reed's Regret Regret and the perk firing line is bucked. And it's not just Reed's Regret either. Firing line in general is bucked. Now this is a perk that states that the weapon deals increased precision damage when near two or more allies. It used to be a 25% buff. In this sandbox, Bungie actually nerfed it to 20%, which is still 5% more than Vorpal. Vorpal sits at 15%. So overall, I was okay with the firing line nerf. However, it is not performing at its fullest potential. Currently right now, firing line is bucked. On on all weapons. Sniper rifles, it's only doing somewhere between 12 and 14% more damage. Linear fusion rifles, it's doing only 14% more damage. And machine guns, it's only doing 6% more damage. And we discovered this this past week when we were testing it on the Templar. And I noticed for all of our weapons, firing line is not performing at its max percentage. And I actually think other perks are also bugged, like explosive light, guys. I think that perk is bugged too. Regardless, though, regardless, there's a lot here that I want you to still focus on when going after firing firing line because eventually this perk will be fixed and when firing line is fixed I think the combination of firing line and triple tap will be one of the best combinations to go for however let's talk a little more about Reed's Regret and its other perks you actually have a number of other damage dealing perks you have Adagio which states that after defeating a target the weapon fires charges or draws more slowly but deals increased damage for a brief period of time now that's actually a 25% increase in damage for linear fusion rifles and the duration there is actually six seconds so it's not bad. However, it does state that you have to defeat a target. So for damage phases against bosses, I don't know if Adagio would necessarily be the way to go. But for killing champions, most definitely. You do also have Vorpal, which is still a 15% increase in damage. Works against champs, as well as bosses. Harmony, which states that final blows with other weapons improve the weapon's damage and performance for a short duration. This too would also be good in Grandmasters and Nightfalls, as you're not always going to be using your heavy the entire time. You'll be getting kills with other weapons. And the beautiful thing about Harmony is you don't have to swap immediately to your weapon with Harmony after getting a kill with another weapon. You have three seconds of time. Three seconds before you have to swap and then you get seven whole seconds of 20% increase in damage. Would I choose any of these perks over Firing Line? Well, yeah, currently in its bug form, absolutely. I would choose all these perks. Vorpal, even Adagio, Harmony. Until Firing Line gets fixed, to me, it's just not worth using over these other perks. Now, that middle column, there's a number of options, but the two I really want you to to focus on is of course clown cartridge which buffs our magazine size up after reloading and triple tap now triple tap to me is the better option as it produces ammo for you however landing three precision shots on say a champion is a little more difficult than landing three precision shots on a boss like the templar honestly i think you can go either way with this either one of those perks would be just fine even if you wanted to do something like surplus you can also go that route as far as the battery perk guys we've spoken about it before in a little more length when talking about thread and needle and like what is the best in terms of dps right or at least in regards to linear fusion rifles when it comes to just pure dps the more shots you can get off the better and in the past i would always say a charged master work with accelerated coils and you can still do that and you can combine it with things like clown cartridge as well as any of these damage dealing perks firing line vorpal and run to the house with it. But your overall total damage will suffer as even though you are dropping that charge time and you're getting more shots out, you're also losing a little more damage. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, what about liquid coils? Liquid coils, yes, does increase that damage a little bit, but it's not necessarily worth it either. You see guys, the number here on Reed's Regret in its magazine, its base magazine size is five. And Threaded Needle is the same way. The number you want is six. However, for the longest time, the only way to get six rounds on Threaded Needle was either Either through its mod or through i nice battery and even though i nice battery does increase our magazine size from five to six on threaded needle it also kills our reload speed the beautiful thing here about reed's regret is that enhanced battery still increases our magazine size from five to six on reed's regret but doesn't hurt our reload speed this is magical because you want a 
six round magazine on these linear fusion rifles that have triple tap. This is the difference between you getting seven shots off in a row versus eight shots. And I know it's just one extra shot, but it adds up. And even though this may not be the best in terms of DPS, as having something like a charged masterwork and accelerated coils and clown and all those things, and just purely expending as many shots as you can at once, that's great and all, but in terms of total damage, not so much. And the fact that triple tap produces ammo and allows you to get eight shots off at once, fellas, to me, that's the combination to go for. So again, enhanced battery, triple tap, and firing line will eventually be the god roll of god rolls. But for the time being, Vorpal, Harmony are still great options. And I would even argue and say Adagio and Harmony both may even be feasible options in certain things like Nightfalls, especially for run and gun situations and dealing with champions. But what firing line and Vorpal both present is a pretty sizable buff with little to no legwork. Firing line, you just have to be close to your teammates. And Vorpal, you just gotta hit the right things. Bosses and champions. Outside of that, guys, there is, of course, Headstone on this weapon. Headstone, we've talked about it. I love it. I think it's a fantastic perk. Synergizes great with Stasis subclasses. Although, to me, kind of a waste here on a linear fusion. Again, a fantastic perk on primary weapons, but I think I would prefer just having one of these greater damaging perks. So, guys, that is Reed's Regret. There's a lot of things here that are great about this linear fusion rifle. It just currently has a bugged perk as of now. Eventually, though, the role we just mentioned is what's going to elevate this weapon for you. And if you like doing things like Lost Sectors or other PvE content in the game that has stasis burns, Reason Regret is perfect as it deals stasis damage. And the fact that it can increase its battery size with just enhanced battery without having to sacrifice your reload speed with things like ionized battery. This allows you to slot on boss spec or major spec and still maintain that magical six round magazine. And again, this is before we even get to the adept version of this weapon, which will allow for big one spec. So a lot of great combinations here, guys. I just wanted to put this out because I know there's a lot of people that saw our fusion rifle video and we talked greatly about firing line and how good of a perk it is. Unfortunately, it's in a bug state. So if you see it doing less damage than what it is now, understand that it will eventually be fixed. Hopefully. Bungie, please. Like for real, if you don't fix it, there's literally no reason to use firing line. But when that time comes, guys, this will be one of the best damage dealers in the game. If you're interested in our rankings for fusion rifles, down below in the description will be a link to that. There's a lot of great damage dealers out there and I've actually tested just about about all of them. Rapid fire fusion rifles, Cartesian with Vorpal, Sleeper Simulant, 1K Voices, Threaded Needle. And I can tell you right now, surprisingly, at the top of the list, if you can land crits, legendary linear fusion rifles like Reed's Regret is one of the best damage dealers in the game. Again, guys, this weapon is dropping from Trials of Osiris. We did a breakdown video of all of its loot. Feel free to check that out. It is much easier to get trial weapons now. So if you're hearing this for the first time, do not be disheartened. Play Trials. You might surprise yourself. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right